Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to- yeah. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you all. I am Burner, and I'm actually quite happy. I actually took a short little break between recording the previous episode and this one to check the videos I recorded so far. And my new equipment has helped greatly, which means you guys actually have some good videos to look forward to. I say though you've probably seen those two videos already, considering this is the third. Let's just go knock out another former child star, shall we? Uh, hi Bosco and uh, Bunny Nudie Mac that I still can't buy. I got to take my inventory. That I do. That I do. Okay. Uh, coffee. It's a coffee. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. No, I'll not be making a meatloaf joke. I have many more Zen Max games to go through. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'll find time to make others uh, soon enough. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. No, do we? No, don't want to. <laughs> microwave. Hey, Max, Matt, I've in. got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. We sadly never do get that explanation. But I'm pretty sure most people can guess. Nachos. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. Really, did you have to make that joke? Ketchup? Mustard and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Yeah, you still want that purple stuff though. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush? I'm sold! You I'll pass. <laughs> I'm surprised you I'm uh, surprised he passed. So I guess with Bosco's I will pass too. Say Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. No comment. I'm gonna say not allowed to be this way through because a lot of the stuff is not meant to be commentated over. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that week. That's an information I could have done without. Yeah, let's see. Refrigerator? Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. This is security camera. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. <laughs> Crossing my mind. Okay, support from here. I think that's everything. So... so I say high ceiling in this place. Whee! So oh, let's talk to the uh, no, not Peepers, Wizard. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. Uh, that's actually pretty sad, even though it is your name. So what are you doing here? Aside from something possibly illegal? What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one, they're free. You're breaking the law. I'm Are still you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Sure Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. A moment? Sorry about that, folks. I actually have a sign on my door now saying when I'm recording, but people still knock as if that sign doesn't exist. Ugh. Okay, you're under arrest. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on! It's a free country! Who told you that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. And yet he's not in psychotherapist's office. Seriously, you're under arrest. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. But we want to. No, we don't have to. We want to. Okay, everyone loves your show. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Really? I mean, I get the joke, but really? Uh, yeah. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song! What was it called? 
It was called More Than Jerks, but I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. And I'm sure copyright reasons. How about an autograph? How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write to Max. Thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was... There was an incident, apparently. And I didn't know that right click can actually skip through the audio. I guess I missed it through a lot of pretty culture stuff, actually. Uh, are you anything like your character? Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. A really sucky one. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! I feel sad for all child stars now. Well, I guess like I did before, but I really feel sad for him. Uh, sing song. Come on, sing the soda popper theme song. No, I don't think so. What'll it take to get you to sing that song? We'll be your best friends. No. Are you sure you won't sing the soda popper song? I won't gnaw your leg off if you do it. No. Because it's the equivalent of Consuela. Well, that's nice. What is? Uh, yeah, that's it. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. Alright, now let's get rid of this little pass. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. For nothing. Lots of terror. Uh-oh! Time out for number one! Looks like he opened his floodgates. I it's hope he terror. enjoys it as much as I did. And now, let's get rid of him. Always with the cheese. Yeah. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it! Oh, there they go. What the? Time out for number one. We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's... entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic, just classic. You are a sick fuck TV guy. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, the joke's not here. Better, better. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? I guess it's the second uh... time. Yep. Alright, let's go. Later, Bosco. And I just realized I turned the timer on. Uh, let's sit 20 minutes. Because I'm pretty sure I've spent at least five. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more former child star knockout. Let's get to it. At the speed of point and click adventure games. Alright, click on the door. Let's wait. I watch right here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Hey, simple, we're back. Good, you're not in the closet. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Oh, Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. No! <laughs> but it will make you cry! <laughs> don't appreciate sure getting hit head on with an iron hurts. <laughs> He's already crying. <laughs> oh. It's kind of annoying, so, um... I can see you! Oh. Please, stop doing that! What? This is the first time falling in the boxing glove. There are two times I tried to shoot you. 
Oh, Shibbo. No! Nope, so. Do not off screen. <laughs> Please, Sam, allow me. Oh, no. <coughs> oh yes. This is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. That's lying. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh, my. That was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> All right, who are you? Nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind! I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Right. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil, it's Peepers! Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. You I can charge 550 by the hour, by the way. Dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there! Uh, he kept telling me to do stuff. Aha! I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can't fix. Hey, what? Oh, dear! <laughs> Nothing a simple exorcism will fix. So, Sybil, uh, what now? Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that wacko. I wish there was some way I could repay you. We could use that 10 grand. Have you got 10 grand? I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Right, Luna's a student. I can ride it around like a pony. <laughs> it's nice to see you show such enthusiasm. Security. What security? Uh, Max might like a tattoo. Max might like a tattoo. Oh yeah, I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. <laughs> I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. That's me, Kegos Mink. Can you fix cars? Can you fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway, except with unicycles. Tell me more. I probably regret this, but psychoanalyze me. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink lots, we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. I'm some Gallery Marbles part. Let's try ink blots. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal that? things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. I see Crab Multi from that first episode of One Punch Man. I don't see that. We have boxing, boxing and a robo. Sadly, no. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. Yep. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Proof that Shaggy from Scooby Doo is a pothead. Uh, bunch of bacteria playing basketball. Bidgets at a mark. Bidgets on a marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Ah, oh, this one. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And this? A merry go round. Uncle Zoe's moth eaten wallet. A squirrel got run over twice. 
Dakota Love Notes from Space Aliens, an autograph written in Braille. An autograph written in Braille? Now this one, what do you see? Uh, hey. Uh, elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? A Mega Man boss? Uh, blotchy thing of flash bulbs does the uh, eye. An orangutan escape from the trunk of the <laughs> An orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. Hmm, your responses are kind of all over the map. Thank I can't you. tell a whole lot from them. Sorry. Thanks, Doc. I like that last one's evil. I think you actually see the orangutan trying to escape. Uh, what's right? Free association. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? <laughs> no, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Empty. Uh, eh. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. I shot two bullets, does that not count? What do you think of this free association stuff, Max? Seems like a crack of weak tea to me, Sam. Hmm. Dialogue with imaginary friend. Very interesting. Wait, what? Hey, I'm not imaginary. <laughs> if you say so, come. You can clearly see him. Okay. Word to the wise, never put your tongue on a cactus. Or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses. Possible organic malaise fixation. Well, this has been illuminating. Really? What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Uh... Let's try dream Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Yowch. Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, okay this here goes. Interesting. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm. Yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. There's a silhouette staying in the corner. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Uh, Max, Bosco, you... Ooh! It was me! You? Hmm... I think you... represent yourself. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. <laughs> Tell me, did the other you say or do anything... unexpected? No, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? Oh, you changed it? Max? Max. It was Max. Ah, yes. Your imaginary friend. Excuse me. I'm standing <laughs> right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything <laughs> unusual? <laughs> Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, do-da, do-da. But that's not unusual. Uh, it's rat hole. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm, the rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? Oh, dog. It was that staple office knick-knack, the clacking balls. Is that hot dog? Unlike the like ones on your fruit. desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well. That's joking itself. Oh, it's closet. 
I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? Skeletons? Is that an option? Uh, camera, lottery tickets, a parking meter. A parking meter. A parking meter? Why would you possibly be ashamed of that? Well, we did run over the meter in front of our building once or twice. Or every single time we ever parked there. Plains luck. Jesse James' hand. I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? No, they actually have that. <laughs> uh, I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. Television. Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. Uh, the window. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Uh, no. Let's no, wait, I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. I turned to leave the office. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Oh. No, wait, no, I, I leave forgot something. Stream, I leave through the window. Oh, do continue then. Lush vegetation. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. What was on it? Needles, money, a soda can. A hefty sack of cash was in full flower. Oh, you think money grows on trees? You're dreaming. Yep. Uh, water cooler? I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler. A source of refreshment. What was in it? A rat, a gun, a magazine. It was a crisp new copy of Self-Loathing Weekly. Oh, that is refreshing. I never miss an issue. Hey, I got a feeling you didn't. Uh, Alright, time for the window. Wait, no donut box. Was that in the office? I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? A uh, birthday cake, a wedding cake, fruit cake, a cheesecake. Cheesecake. It was a cheesecake. And I mean literally a piece of cheese in a cake. What does that represent? No, that doesn't mean anything. It's just random nonsense. Thank you. Now yeah, out the window. Was that the end of your dream? Yep. Then I woke up screaming. I can see why. <laughs> yes, I stepped on the window. Uh, that's nothing. Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Okay, let's get out of here. Back to the office. Yeah, I'm gonna try to for this video. Oh, five minutes. All right. Set up after this uh, Ivo. You know, so you might get back to the office at the speed of point click adventure. You know? Oh, it's nice. I was supposed to do something like that. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! What? What's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. Yeah, 227. Okay, I'm taking that. Said if you were gonna go uh, wake up Wizard. Weezer? Sir. Hey, Bosco, we're back. Got six here. Oh, it's just you. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. 
Oh, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! Um. He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. I didn't even intend to do that. Hurry, Sam! He's getting away! Time out for number one! Oh. Watch out! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. Yep. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never That's dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. What? Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Maybe I should watch the video first. Where do you call this home with former child stars? Well, there's still time in this video, but I'm gonna end here because we found a new location. So ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for the Samplex playthrough for right now until I come back to record later. So I will see you all in the next video which will probably take place in a couple of days. Bye bye!